Welcome to This Is My Architecture. Today I'm joined by Brian from Commvault. Welcome, Brian. Thank you, Simon. What does Commvault do? So we're an enterprise uh, leader in the backup space, and we've been doing a lot of integration with the Amazon Cloud to be able to bring uh, data into the cloud and say, how do we actually orchestrate up into active workloads? Cool. Now, you guys do some really interesting stuff in terms of moving things from existing infrastructure across wires into the cloud. Let's talk a little bit about some of the challenges of that and how you achieve an outcome. Perfect. So it kind of starts off with the enterprise, and we, and we do a lot of uh, spanning of different workloads, everything from VM environments to file and database environments out there too. And generally, where most people use Convol is to come in and say, how do we do kind of daily uh, protection jobs to be able to take that data, put it down in some local disk copies inside there, deduplicate it and encrypt it and ensure it's all there for recoverability. Mm -hmm. You mentioned DG. What kind of rates do you typically get? Well, generally, it's about 20 to 1 uh, in most kind of backup environments. Uh, it's an it depends, but yeah. At, actually, absolutely, absolutely inside there. Now, one of the nice things that we did a couple of years ago is the direct integration in with cloud storage. So we started to go off and learn how to speak native REST. So from our structure over here, we can come over and take all that replicated data mm -hmm. and come over and drive it directly into S3 uh, or even into Glacier uh, type architectures inside there in a direct route. So it just becomes another storage tier. If you've got a direct connect, probably makes it even easier. Absolutely. And you're only sending deduplicated data across. Correct. Now, once it's here though, I mean, that's, that's solving one set of problems, yep. but there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with the data once it's in the cloud. Absolutely. You? Back to the deduplication, um, once it goes over once, and that's, I think, the one challenge we see with most customers in cloud. I don't have enough bandwidth to keep getting it to the cloud all the time. Yeah. So then we get to go into that delta rate forever. Uh, but to your question is, once we're in that uh, deduplicated state over here, this is where we've done a lot of the integration, say, how do we bring it up into that compute workload next? So whether it's a uh, VMware backup that we did over here, we come over here and we can automatically convert it back up into an EC2 instance. So that becomes an AMI when you restore Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That's nice. What about databases? Ah, very good question. So this has been the latest thing that we've been working on uh, with a lot of customers in, let's say, an Oracle environment. Uh, you're running an Oracle server. It's got a lot of instances inside there. They're not ready to put all the instances in the cloud. I'd like to be able to say, can I just deliver one uh, for some dev test purposes? So what we do in the same context is we've got the database backups here. We come in here and we come back and we orchestrate up a workload. So let's take a Linux server inside there. Uh, if it's got Oracle on board, uh, we can use it in a rented uh, environment, or we can bring along the Oracle licenses and install those automatically. Then go ahead and load it with the data. Turn it back in, now your dev test user is off in the cloud doing it in a uh, self-contained and simplified manner over there. Nice thing, it's all under a, a governance policy, so if you only want to expose that for 30 days, the length of the project, after 30 days it can retire and uh, clean up after itself too. Fantastic, so you can sort of rehydrate everything on demand when you need to, mm -hmm. but also shut it down when you don't want it anymore. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Our old friend S3 never lets us down, does it? Uh, no, uh, so we love S3 because S3 is a great target uh, to come over and say, how do I drive lots of those data copies into here? And I'll tell you, increasingly what we're seeing a lot of customers start to think about is, old school thinking was I need to have 30 days worth of backups on site. In many new cases, they're saying, do I only need to maybe keep five days here mm and I can keep that 30, 60, 90 day extension off in the cloud where it's much more available, it's much more economical, yeah. and I can do a lot more things with it in case of DR and other cases out there too. Exactly, fantastic. Brian, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure, thanks. Awesome, and thanks for watching This Is My Architecture.